Starting with AutoCAD LT 2024, auto list programs can be used to automate repetitive tasks and improve workflows. You don't need to know how to program to take advantage of auto list programs that were previously written for AutoCAD. Many auto list programs written for AutoCAD are compatible with AutoCAD LT. Let's look at loading an auto list file and running a command that's defined in that auto list file. Auto list files can be loaded with the load unload application dialog box, which can be displayed using the load application button on the ribbon. Autolist files have a file extension of LSP, VLX, or FAS. As an example, I'll select and load one of the Autolist files that's installed with AutoCAD LT. After clicking Load, a message appears that the file was successfully loaded. With the Autolist file loaded, I can start one of the commands defined in the file. You can see which commands are defined in an Autolist file that has an LSP extension by opening it with Notepad. Autolist function names with the C colon prefix can be entered at the command prompt similar to standard AutoCAD LT commands. In this case, I'm going to start the ddgrips command, which opens the options dialog box and sets the selection tab current. Now that you know how to load an Autolist file, Let's take a quick look at how we can inform AutoCAD LT where it should look for Autolisp files that are safe to load. This is done on the Files tab of the Options dialog box. Folders under the Support File Search Path node are used by AutoCAD LT to locate custom files such as Autolisp customization and hatch pattern files along with blocks. Here I'm going to add the Autolisp Files folder as a support path. For support paths that contain Autolisp files, you should add those folders to trusted locations. Trusted locations let AutoCAD LT know executable files, such as Autolisp files, can be safely loaded from these folders. Here I'll add the Autolisp files folder as a trusted location. It's highly recommended to store Autolisp files in read-only folders to help protect you from malicious code.